Hey, White Ruck 85 here. Just back from the range with the Taurus PT840. I'd like to give you my first impressions after firing. Have a chance to run about 170 rounds through it or so uh, using the 180 grain and 165 uh, grain 40 caliber ammo. Uh, shot some Winchester and some PMC through it. Uh, had one failure to load after about 130 rounds or so. Stove piped on me, so not. Uh, I don't think it's going to be an issue. Certainly, uh, one out of all that time, uh, and just breaking in didn't even reach the 500 mark yet. So, I don't think that is any concern. Again, for those uh, that aren't unfamiliar with the PTA40, it was really derived from the Taurus OSS pistol that was designed for the U.S. Armed Forces but they did add the external hammer. Uh, very uh, very well put together pistol. I'm not sure yet as far as my impressions uh, how it shoots or how it doesn't. Could have been me. Uh, could have been breaking it in. Uh, I did have some shooting gloves when I uh, first shot uh, about the first 50 rounds and I took those off and I seemed to shoot a lot better without the gloves on for some reason and I don't know whether it was the gloves and the and the feel of the firearm in my hand but it just shot a lot better without the gloves so I think I'm just gonna get my hands a little bit dirty when I shoot this and uh, keep those gloves off but this is the uh, 840B in 40 caliber it does have that black tenor for finish uh, the capacity is 15 plus 1. Now today when I went out to the range, I really feel like 14 is the max that you want to put in the uh, in the magazine. Uh, it really felt, at, shoving in that last 15th round really was pretty tight. So I would go with 14 and, and if you have one in the chamber that's really 15 overall and I would certainly think that's uh, quite sufficient. Uh, I do have the 45 and the 8 plus 1 there. It's it's almost doubling it, so uh, I think that is... I would put 14 in. That's just, just my opinion. So let's go ahead and do a, a quick field strip on this. Very, very simple to take down. Of course, let's just check to make sure it is unloaded. There is, there is no magazine in there and nothing in the chamber, so we're good to go. Uh, this is our release right there. I like to get my hand in there. My fingers on both of these. I'm going to rotate my hand around. You, and when you hear a click, you may just heard it. And it's apart. So you just have to slide that back about a quarter inch or so or less. Strips right off. Let's take our spring out. And of course, the barrel falls right out and so did whatever this is. Hey, White Rook 85 here. Back from the gun shop where I just returned the Taurus PT-840 to be returned back to Davidson's for a new one. I was doing the field strip and while I was showing you that the firing pin block mechanism or piece decided to fall out and never want to go back in again, never to stay in. So I went back and returned it. Uh, one thing, uh, if you are buying a Taurus, I recommend that you buy it through the Davidson website. Uh, because Davidson has a lifetime guarantee on it, all its firearms. And if you're going to buy a Taurus, and if they're not quite as nice, or the specs aren't quite as nice, or the, or the quality isn't as nice, Davidson's has that lifetime guarantee where you can return your firearm if something goes wrong with it. So I just took it back up, and the, the shop is going to return it to Davidson's and they will ship out a brand new one. So it's not going to be fixed. I don't have to send it to Brazil and wait for something to be fixed. It's just going to be sent out and I am going to receive a brand new one back again. Well, I recommend that you use Davidson's. I have had very good luck purchasing firearms through their website. It gets shipped to my local dealer. They do the FFL work, call the state for the background check 
and uh, we take care of it that way. So uh, very convenient way to shop for firearms and that lifetime guarantee sure is coming in handy at this point.